Hi, I'm Shelly Simmons with Baptiste Power Yoga Fayetteville, and this is a 60 to 65 minute journey into power, Baptiste Yoga Vinyasa Flow. Uh, we're gonna get started in child's pose, and I just want to um, say two things before we begin. One is just a gentle reminder to always honor your body. If you need to take a break, even as I'm moving on, you have two options. You can either pause the video and catch your breath, or I really encourage you to just take child's pose, let me move on, and then you join back in when you can, just as you would in a live class. So those are your options um, for taking breaks, but of course, always take a break when your body is asking for it. Take water when you need. We won't be taking breaks for water or anything else um, through the practice, so that's up to you. Uh, and then the second thing I wanna say is that I am really thinking about presence this week. And um, presence to me is about really getting in tune with my body and getting out of my mind and out into the environment that I'm in so that I can do life from right here, from this moment. I can't change what's going on with me or how I live my life if I'm not first grounded in presence and what's going on around me. I can't come to presence and to change through thinking about things that have already happened or about what's to come. I have to start change and any personal growth from right here from this present moment. So with that, let's come on our mat to child's pose. Without delay, start firing up your breath. Ujjayi breathing. Put it in, deep full body breaths. In and out through your nostrils if you're able. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch out your arms to the front of the mat and press your palms down energetically. You'll start to enlighten, liven up your back muscles and pull up your core. Zip up your abdominal muscles right away from child's pose. Breathe in. Breathe out, more of an active child's pose than maybe you're used to. Inhale, reach your fingertips forward. Exhale, sink your heels back or your hips back more. Child's pose. Oh, we're in child's pose. Downward facing back. Invitation to pedal it out in this first down dog. Stretching where you need to stretch and then coming to stillness. Really grounding down through the palms and toe mounds and lifting your fingers and your toes up. So you're really pressing into your palms, into the balls of your feet. You're letting your toes and fingers be light. Drop your head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk up to your hands, gaze behind you, set your eyes, find a drishy point, the back of the mat, the back of your room, wherever your eyes naturally land as you gaze behind you. Be for that point. Set your eyes with laser beam focus. Pressing down into all four corners of your feet, especially the big toe mound under your big toe, so the ball of your foot under your big toe. Toes are light. Sits bones reach up to the ceiling. Release your hands. Toe heel your feet together. Extended mountain. Pull your belly button in and up, Uddiyana Bandha, Ujjayi breath, gaze, drishti up at the ceiling or at the wall in front of you, laser beam focus, hands to heart center, gaze at your fingertips, one ohm, breathe in, oh. Fold, halfway lift, high plank, 
taking a breath or two here to find high plank in your body by um, stacking your feet right next to each other. Lifting your heels up over your toe mounds, pulling the front of your pelvis up, gazing down, find a drishy point at your mat or right in front of the front of your mat. Rock forward and halfway down. Then upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Reset drishti if you're lost it. Find a single point. Ujjayi. Bandhas. Press into your hands and feet. Find your foundation. Inhale. Exhale. Walk or jump forward. Feet to hands. Long spine. Deep fold. Sweep up. Extended mountain. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. High plank to low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, reset. Invite yourself again and again to begin again. Check in with yourself. To stay present, we need to put in the breath, the gaze, the bandhas to be rooted in our foundations on our mat. Breathe in, lift your belly up. Exhale, empty. Feet to hands. Walk or jump forward. Long spine. Fold. Root to rise. Press into your feet. Reach up through your fingertips. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, right to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Remember, you always have the option to take high planks and low planks on your knees to find any modifications that work for you. Cobra, a gentle lift of the chest instead of a full up dog. Honor your body, breathe in. Breathe out, look forward. Come to the top of the mat. Long spine. Fold, sweep up, extended mountain, fold forward, halfway lift, breathe in, Chaturanga Dandasana, breathe out, breathe in, upward facing dog, breathe out, downward facing dog, combining flow, our movement, linking movement and breath, creating flow, inhale, exhale, Gaze to the top of your mat, come forward, long spine, fold one more time, rise up, exhale, deep fold, halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, three breaths. Engage your leg muscles, pull your Thighs up off your kneecaps and turn your inner ankles back. Know that that'll fire up the outside of your shins. Press your outer shins in toward each other as if you're holding a block between your calves. Breathe in. Exhale completely. Look forward. Come to the top. Halfway lift. Fold. Thunderbolt. Inhale. Come up. And stay. Pull your upper shoulder blades onto your back and your, keep your upper arm bones right by your ears. Pull your belly in and up. Sink your hips back. Stay for a few breaths. Creating heat. Tapas. Warming up our muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Hands to the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, step your right foot to your right thumb, come up warrior one, couple breaths, this first warrior, 
Come into both your feet, really pressing down to all four corners of both your feet, lifting your toes up, sinking your hips between your legs, front knee reaches to 90 degrees. Inhale, look up, take it back, then hands to the mat, chaturanga, vinyasa to the other side, through your dogs, then stepping your left foot forward, come up. Think about squaring up your hips to your own degree, taking your left hip back, your right hip forward. Set your eyes. Find presence right here in this warrior. Brand new, a brand new experience, a brand new of being right now in this pose and with this pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, look up, take it back. Hands to the mat, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Set your eyes, see one thing, really see it. Breathe in, breathe out. Full body inhale, empty completely. And empty, come to the top. Halfway lift, fold, thunderbolt. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, exhale. Right foot, warrior one. Sweep up. Hands right back to the mat on the exhale, vinyasa to the other side. One thing that really keeps me present in my practice is to really think about my transitions as part of the pose. So I can't even go into thinking. Hands back to the mat, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. I can't even go into thinking between poses. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm focused, I'm setting my eyes, I'm breathing, I'm moving intentionally. Deep breath in, exhale, feet to hands. Halfway lift, fold, thunderbolt. Hips down, heels pressing, reach your fingertips up. Fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, inhale, exhale, right side, foot to thumb, reach up, warrior one, exhale, through your vinyasa, over to the other side, left foot, rise up, warrior one, Hands right back to the mat, flow low. Lift your hips high, pull your chest through your arms and reach it towards your thighs. Breathe in, exhale, go again, top of the mat, halfway lift. Fold, thunderbolt, sweep up, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, exhale, making breath and movement through your vinyasa. Breathe in, breathe out, inhale to warrior one, inhale all the way up, exhale all the way right back down to chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, set your left foot come up. Exhale, hands back to the mat, all the way to the low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, breathe in. Let it go. Come forward. Halfway lift, fold. Thunderbolt, sweep up, fold forward, halfway lift, 
Chaturanga walk or jump back, halfway lift, or sorry, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Through your warriors with your breath, come up on the inhale, transition to Chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, same thing. Take a deep breath in, and a sigh, open your mouth, ha, again, full inhale, sigh, ha, take your toes to touch at the back of the mat, lift your right leg up, bend your knee, peel open, flip dog, if that's in your practice today, all ten toes right toward the back of the room, gaze to the front of the room, reach your fingertips Overhead to the front, hips high. Come back to hand to ceiling. Flip to high plank, side plank on the right. Feet can be staggered or stacked. Invitation to up level here. Lifting the top leg up. Set your eyes to one spot. Stay with breath. Breathe in. Then low plank, option to keep left leg lifted through your vinyasa. Stagger your feet at the back of the mat, step your right foot forward, come up, crescent lunge, back heel is lifted, hands to heart center, prayer twist. Finding a long line. From your, your back heel through the crown of your head and then twisting through the rib cage. So you want a long spine and then you're working the twist. You're going to round it over in the chest. Inhale, exhale, twist. Fly your arms. A couple more breaths here. On an inhale, we're going to come up and around, warrior two. Pull your shoulder blades together on the back. Wrap them around your spine. Extended side angle. Option to bind, a half bind, wrapping your arm, catching the top of your right thigh, or catching your hands in between for a full bind. And then opening your heart center back to the side of your room. Bird of Paradise may be calling today. You step your left foot forward. Make your weight into your left foot and come up. Straighten your right leg to your degree. A couple more breaths to come all the way back to extended side angle. Or you can release from Bird of Paradise through a vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. From down dog, lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, peel open. Flip dog. Keep pulling your belly button down to your spine, even as you lift your hips up. Send your tailbone to the back of the room. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift your hand to the ceiling, spin to high plank, heels to the left, side plank. Feet are staggered or stacked. You might be on a knee. Plenty of work there on the knee. I love taking that modification. Today I'm gonna lift my leg up. Couple more breaths. Press down into your hand on the mat and then rebound up for your fingertips on the other hand. Come to high plank to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot to your left hand. Rise up, crescent lunge. 
hands to heart center, prayer twist to the left. Again, find that long line from your back heel up through the crown of your head. So you don't want to be dumped forward. You want to be having, holding your chest up, have a long spine and a lot of strength in your right leg to keep the right hip lifted up in line with your left. Open your arms, stay. Inhale to lengthen through your spine. Exhale to twist through your rib cage. One more time. Breathe in, rinse out. On an inhale, up and around, warrior two. Nice wide stance in your warrior two. Belly is lifted, shoulder blades come together on your back. Find that expansion and contraction, contracting your shoulder blades together on your back, and then expanding out through your extremities. Extended side angle. In Baptiste yoga, we talk a lot about that, about expansion and contraction, about pulling in and pressing out all at the same time in our poses. Press down, pull in, lift up. Expansion and contraction. Option to take the bind or bird of paradise. Coming into your left leg, rising up, opening across your collarbones. Shoulder blades are together on my back. Pressing down, pulling in, lifting up, and then coming back down to extended side angle. Then hands to the mat, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, exhale. Breath in, ha, sigh it out. Breathe in, open your mouth, let it go. Seal your lips, find your breath. I walk or jump forward, top of the mat, halfway lift, fold, thunderbolt, big toes are touching, reach your hands overhead, draw your shins back more in line with your heels, then hands to heart center, take a twist. From here, option to fly your arms, taking your bottom hand to a block, to the mat, or take side crow. Remember the transitions are part of the pose. Set your eyes. And get out of preparing and into the pose. Coming back up. One more breath in. Fold forward. Split your feet. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Grab your big toes with your peace finger, traction through your spine. And then fold deeply. Find some softness, some air behind your knees. A little lightness there, you're not locked out in your legs. And then firm up your leg muscles by turning your inner ankles back, pulling your outer shins in. And release your hands, feet together, thunderbolt, prayer twist to the left. Take a peek at your knees. You want them in line with each other. One is not jutting out in front. That helps square up your hips right to the back of the room. Fly your arms or take side crow. Being intentional, coming in and out of the poses is a way to stay present in your body. Coming back up. Fold forward. Gorilla. Feet to hip width again. Slide your palms 
underneath the soles of your feet. Lengthen through your spine. Fold forward. And your knees are bent to your own degree here. Finding length in your spine. A release in your low back. Keep lifting your belly in and up to create the hinge from your hips and to find length. Nod your head yes. Shake it no. Release your bind. Come into crow pose. Fingers wide. The talons of the eagle. Palms on the mat, fingertips gripping for five, four, three, two, one. Walk and shoot back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Ha. Breath in. Let that go. Come to the top. Halfway lift. Fold. Extend the mountain, eagle, right arm under, right leg over. And here, standing knee or leg, your standing leg, the knee is bent just like in Thunderbolt. Sending your hips down and back. And then you want to stack your torso right over your hips, shoulders over hips, elbows out. Lift your fingers up. Release other side. Left leg over. Left arm under. I usually wrap my arms first and then my legs, but try it the other way. See what works for you. Three breaths from right here. Release, eagle, other side again. Right arm under, right leg over. Being present in this eagle means you're curious and thinking about what's possible right here in this moment. Not in thinking about the last time you did this pose, even two seconds ago when we were on this side the last time. That moment's gone. This is the present now. Switch. Left arm under. Left leg over. What's possible from here? Brand new from right here. From what you're seeing now. Lift your belly up. Bend your knee more. Sink your hips back. If you can take your fingertips up more, your elbows out further to the front of the room. Release down. Standing leg raise. Hug your right knee into your chest. Stay with your knee or take your big toe. Or the outside raise or edge of your standing or your lifted foot. Standing foot firmly grounded into the mat. Open out to the right, gaze to the left. With your knee, your toe, whatever you've got. Perfect just as it is just as it is in this moment in this moment and if you come out you just begin again you give yourself permission go in the airplane you just begin again from right now from airplane take your hands to heart center open up into half moon Fingers to a block, to the mat, and what's possible in this half moon. Today for you and your body, given how your body feels today, what's possible? Maybe it's possible you start to lift your bottom hand up off the mat. Maybe you're feeling a lot of strength. Fold forward. Nod your head yes, 
Then rag doll. Shake it now. Feet together. Come up. Standing leg raise. Left knee hugs into your chest. Stay with your knee. Take your toe. The razor edge of your left foot. Find stability, equanimity. First facing forward. Then peel open. Setting a drishti point. Maybe to your right thumb or over your right shoulder. Come back to center. Airplane. Find a little up dog in your chest in the airplane. Fingers reaching energetically behind you. I'm going to turn back sideways for you. Dial your left pinky toe down to the mat, squaring up your hips. Then hands to heart center for half moon. Open up. I'm going to challenge myself today, keeping my hands at heart center. Opening out to half moon. And if I come out, which I usually do when I'm doing that, I just begin again. From now, from this moment, is it possible now? What's possible now? Maybe I get to a point and decide I'm going to put my hand down, open up, and then from here, try to lift my bottom hand off the mat and come up. Shake your legs out. Dancer. Left arm forward, shoulders stay integrated. So my left arm is not reaching way out, throwing my shoulders off line. I'm gonna keep my shoulders integrated, my chest facing forward, kick into my right hand. Fine dancer. Brand new from right here. From this present time, from this moment, be now here or nowhere, Baron says. Switch sides. This is another great pose for really thinking about that contraction, noticing, having an awareness around what your body is doing, pulling into core, pressing out through your standing for your lifted foot. Release other side. Contract, contraction and expansion. Total body integration. Total body expression. One more time. Release familiar arms. Right hand out. Kick into your left hand. Fullest expression. Laser beam focus, set your eyes. Lift everything up, come down, tree. People often ask me if I don't get bored of the journey into power sequence, doing it over and over again. And if you're a Baptiste devotee like me, you know that it can be different every time. But what I usually talk to people about and speak to when they ask, grow your tree if you want, is about how because I come into my body newly every day, my practice is different every day. And it truly is. Breathe in, breathe out, fullest expression, press down, pull in, lift up, release, other side. This is the first time that I've done tree on this leg today, in this body today. The one that I have right now with the aches and pains I feel that have built up over my week, my morning, with what I've fueled my body with today, and with my mindset right now. What am I up to? Am I just going to hang out here, or am I curious about where this can go? 
and tree, I love to look up to the ceiling and start to walk my eyes back across and see if I can look all the way at the back wall. I've gotten to the back corner of the ceiling, back behind me, so that's progress. And I love that. I love being curious about when and why my body is able to do that. Shake your legs out. Come back to the top of your mat, toes to touch. Reach your hands up, extend the mountain. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank to low. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And from what I notice, I'm careful not to put in judgment, put in a lot of story about it on the days where I just need to keep my eyes straight ahead and tree and I can't look up and walk my eyes across the ceiling. I'm not creating any story about myself, judging myself or my body. I'm just noticing, noticing what is and what isn't. And then I move on. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Brand new warrior one from right here, from this moment. Different from the beginning of practice. Warrior two, triangle. Straighten your front leg on track. I'm gonna bring my fingertips to a block on the outside of my front ankle. And then I'm gonna create length along the whole right side of my body from where my femur is plugged into my hip all the way through my armpit, length, space, using breath, bandhas. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, come up. Swing your right toes in, in line with your left. Take your hands behind your back, interlace them. Fold forward. Find a micro bend behind your knees and lift your sit bones up to the ceiling. This arm bind isn't serving you. Just drop your hands underneath your shoulders. Otherwise, keep pulling your palms forward, rinsing your shoulders out. On an inhale, come up to standing. Keep your arm bind, or you can drop your hands by your side. Square up to the front of the room, step your left heel in, fold. My torso is draping over my right thigh. I've got a micro bend in both knees. I'm really pressing in with all four corners of both feet, rebounding up through my hips. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, exhale, drop your arms, halfway lift, twisting triangle, fingertips to a block. Today I'm putting the block underneath my left shoulder. Some days I put it on the outside of my right foot. I'm gonna honor where my body is today. Long spine, breath, gaze, look up, Rinse open, breathe in, look down, vinyasa. Inhale, exhale, flow to the other side, left foot to your left thumb, sweep out warrior one, open out warrior two, straighten your front knee, triangle, reach through your fingertips, Creating length, leave your hips where they are, reach through your body. Then your fingertips come down to a block, to the mat, to your leg. Keep reaching your hips back and your chest forward. Pull your shoulder blades together on the back, make it juicy. Shine your heart up toward the ceiling, breathe in, exhale. Inhale, come up. Spin your left toes in line with your right. Option to take that arm bind again. 
or reach your hands up overhead, fold forward, hands underneath your shoulders. Option to take a headstand or handstand here. I'm going to demonstrate classical headstand. Usually I do this from the back of my mat because sometimes I'll fall out of it to the front. So I don't want to injure anybody in class. So I take it where I know I'm going to land on my own mat. Crown of the head. Down. to the mat. Locust. Chin to the mat. Press into your pelvic bone like everything else up. Lift the tops of your hands to the ceiling. Lift your heels to the ceiling. Lift the back of your shoulder blades up and together come down. Feet to the mat. Breathe in, clear it, go again, locust. Invitation to interlace your hands behind your back and flex your toes. You want your feet a hip width. It's really common for them to want to splay out. Hug your heels back into hip width. Strong legs, come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Bend your knees. Bow. Come up. Again, knees at hip width, ankles at hip width. Flex your toes, strong through your legs. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, come down. One breath. Clear it. Go right back up. For five, four, three, two, one, come down. Drop your legs, hands by your ribs, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come to your knees for camel. If you need to pad up your mat, you have knee issues, do that. Hands to your low back. 
Walk your eyes across the ceiling, back to the back wall. Hands stay on your back, or come to your feet, your heels, your ankles. See what you can find today. Come up, sit back down. And camel your feet can either stay long on the mat with the tops of your feet on the mat, your toes reaching back behind you, or you can dorsi flex your feet where you tuck your toes underneath. Take it again wherever you are, trying a different uh, foot variation today if you want. Lift the front of your pelvis up, look back. Fullest expression, your fullest expression in this moment. Stay with breath. One more, breathe in, exhale, inhale, come up. Sit back onto your heels, hero's pose. Stretch your mat back out if you folded it up for camel. We'll come under our backs, bridge. Again, feet at hip width. I love the bridge to use my block. Pop it between my thighs. I'll go ahead and do that. Really is a great reminder. You can put it the skinny way or the wide way, not the long way. <laughs> it's a great reminder that you want to keep your knees, your heels into hip width. Really strong through the legs. Let this back bend be and come from the strength of your legs in this moment. Squeeze your block if you've got it. Stay, keep breathing. Make sure you've rocked out of the outside edges of your shoulders, protecting your thoracic spine and your cervical spine underneath your neck. Come down. This is a common series where people have a lot of stories and a lot of opinions. I like it, I don't like it, I hate it, I love it. Get out of your head, be right here, and just do the work. Reset your feet for bridge or take wheel. Hands by your head, fingertips facing forward. Come up to bridge, bend to the crown of your head, then press up into your arms. Reset your feet, toes facing forward if you need. Tuck your chin, come down wherever you are. Take a breath in. Breath out, reset, get out of your feet on your mat. Inhale, go up. If you can, you must. Exhale, come down. That's two, we're doing six. Bridge or wheel, any combination thereof. Dig deep, see what you have today. Press into all four corners of your feet, reset. Inhale, go up. Exhale, come down, three. Find every vertebrae on the decent descent. <laughs> decent. <laughs> Set your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out. Number four, go up. Come back down. You don't know what you have, what energy you have for this until you try it on. When I started practice this morning, I didn't even think I wanted to do any wheels, and here I am, jazzed up to do all six. Two more. Inhale, exhale, clear it, ha, go up. Come down. Some days are like that, and yet I'm not gonna gut it out through six if I'm not feeling ready for that in my body. I gotta honor my body and where I am in the moment. I can't plan ahead. Last one, 
reset, and on an inhale, right back up, bridge your wheel for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, tuck your chin, come down, way to go, yogi, and give myself a homeschool high five. <laughs> Uh, no offense if you're homeschooled. Here in Arkansas, we've got a lot of homeschoolers. Everybody's being homeschooled right now during the pandemic, right? They all need to know that homeschool high five. I love giving myself a pat on the back. <laughs> Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. That's not readily apparent. Hands on your torso. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. The beat of your heart. Feel your vitality right here in this moment. And in this one. And in this one. Be here now. Hug your knees into your chest. Dead bug. Grab the razor edge of your feet. Pull your knees down. Keep your whole spine plastered to the mat all the way through your tailbone. So if your tailbone rolled up when you grabbed your feet, roll it back down. Send your tailbone to the front of your mat. Feet are flexed. Toes drawing back towards your knees. Rock side to side. Find stillness, come back to center, release, lift your legs up, and then let's start with scissor legs, hands behind your head, lift your chest and shoulders off the mat, dial your belly button down to the spine, right leg foot to a hover, 10, pulse, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, switch. Strong legs, feet are flexed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get present right here with your belly. Release your hands, let your shoulders drop, hands under your hips. Get present, draw your belly button to the spine. Your whole back is on the mat. Lower your heels 30% to the front of the room. Hold, breathe in. Exhale, lower 30% more. Inhale, exhale, draw them to a hover, reaching your heels away from you. Your belly is pressed down to the mat. Inhale, come up. Toes out wide, heels together like Charlie Chaplin feet. Keep supporting your low back with your hands or your arms underneath your hips. Draw your heels 30% forward, hold, breathe in. Exhale, lower 30%. Ex inhale, exhale, lower 30%. Click your heels together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, all the way up. Barbie feet, lift your toe mounts to the ceiling. Flex your toes back to your face. Draw your toe mounts 30% forward. Inhale, exhale, draw them 30% forward. Inhale, exhale, draw them to a hover. Keep reaching through your toe mounds. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way back up, hug your knees in. Your legs may be bent. You do it to your own degree, and over time you build strength. You build core strength, you build stamina, and you notice after weeks and months your legs start to straighten because you put in the work. You put in the work in all of these little moments. Hug your knees back in. Yogi bicycles, knees over your hips. Do not let them come forward from here. I am watching. Hands behind your head, lift your head and chest up. Shoulders off the mat. Draw one leg out, twist the opposite way, but your knee does not come in. Twist, 
twist, twist, back is on the mat, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, be present with your knees, 10 fast ones, your knees still as a commit, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hug in. When you keep your knees out over your hips, really pulls in and gets those lower abdominal muscles, like a building strength for a whole core wall. Give yourself some love. Rock side to side. And we'll grab, and grab behind my thighs, rock and roll to flat feet. Three, two, stay up this time, one, boat pose for five, four, three, two, one. Final vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee. Peel open. Feel the hip stretch. Lift your heel back up and bring your right leg forward, half pigeon. Option to take this on your back and figure four moves. Just wanna find a way to really stretch the whole back side of your leg hip. Your right thigh is in line with your mat. Here on your forearms, start to drop all the way to the mat. If your head is on the mat, reach your hands out long. Find a long spine. Stay with breath here to stay present. Maybe try keeping your eyes open. Find a drishti point on your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay with breath, with gaze, with bandhas. Gently pull your belly button in and up. Sitting up, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up, send your heels back. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, peel open. Give your left stretch across the front of your left hip, and then taking it to half pigeon, stretch the back of your left hip. Taking your shin forward to your degree, flexing your front foot, your left foot this time, flexing your toes back towards your knee. Find a long spine here. Both hips shining toward the mat. You're not totally just caved over to the left side, but you're squaring your hips over the center of your mat. Put your awareness on your breath. Hear the deep ujjayi breathing. Audible breath. Inhale. Exhale. Fill up. Empty. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come up. Sweep your left leg, or sorry, your right leg around. Half pigeon. Shins are stacked. 
toward the front of your mat, to your degree, feet are flex in the front of your room, hinge forward with a long spine, and then round, bring your hands forward onto the mat, letting your head dangle. Switch legs. Opposite leg comes underneath. Other leg on top. Both feet are flexed in the front of the room. My thighs are parallel with the sides of my mat. And I'm going to hinge forward and then with gravity take hold, pulling my torso down toward the ground, toward my mat. Keeping both my six bones firmly rooted in the mat. I'm breathing good, clean oxygen into my back hip muscles. And on my exhale, letting them release more. Breathe in, send the oxygen to your hip. Exhale. Find some softness. And then inhale, coming back up. Frog. You want to take a wide leg. You want to be on your mat sideways. You may fold up your mat even. This doesn't bother my knees, but it may for you, it used to. Feet are directly behind your knees. Hips are in line with your knees. You're making a 90 degrees with your bottom legs and your uh, upper legs, quads. Keep your belly lifted. Stay on your forearms or come to your chest. Five breaths. Be curious about what's possible right here. From right here, if you've been looking, your two eyes right now. Inhale, come up. Rocking forward and out of that. Back onto your mat. Single leg forward fold. One leg out, the other foot in like a true leg. Inhale, reach up, lengthen through the crown of your head, and then hinge from your hip, folding forward over your long leg. Soften behind your knee on your long leg. Gently flex your toes back towards your face. Inhale, sit up. Switch sides, one leg long, the other leg in, long through your spine, through the crown of your head, fold forward. See what you see. Keep your eyes open, find a drishti point on your tights, on your leg, on your mat. Seated forward fold, both legs out, hips on the mat, and they pull out the skin underneath to really find those sits bones. Lift up, fold. Micro bend the back of your knees. Doing a good stretch along the hamstrings, the backs of my calves. Inhale, sit up. 
seated, or sorry, reverse tabletop, and I'm going to take it with a, um, it's called staff pose, so I'm going to take my right heel over my left leg as if I'm in a figure four pose, and I'll lift my hips up, let my right knee drop. Then I'll come down and switch my legs. Left heel over my right thigh. Go right back up. It's another way to get into those hips. Come back down. Fish pose. Hands underneath your hips. Elbows onto the mat, below your shoulder blades, supporting your upper body, draw your head back, and then I'm going to inch myself back until my head hits the mat, crown of my head on the mat, toes can be flexed, or barbie feet, toe mounds reaching to the front of the room, toes flexed back toward my body. Opening across my collarbones. Slowly come out of that. Onto your back. We'll take an inversion. Shoulder stand. Head stand. Hand stand. Whatever is in your practice. Waterfall. Popping your hips on a block. Legs straight up. I'm going to get into shoulder stand today. I'm going to support my low back with my hands, rock my shoulders in, finding space underneath my cervical spine, reaching my heels forward so my legs are in line with my hips. From shoulder stand to plow, drawing your legs to the back of the room. Keep flexing through your feet. Deaf man's pose. Draw your knees to your ears. Roll down onto your back. Legs out long. Give yourself a full body stretch. Reach your arms up overhead. Feet in the opposite direction. Supine twist. Hug your right knee in. Take it to the left. Gaze to the right. Both your shoulders on the mat. You may need to adjust your shoulders or your hips. We're rinsing out our internal organs. Flushing them out, bringing toxins, unneeded waste to our digestive system, wringing out our lymphatic system. Coming back to center. Send your right leg long, hug your left knee in. Take it across your body to the right. Look to the left. to a neutral spine, and then Shavasana, arms long beside you, legs out long, 
heels out wide, wider than your hips. Let your toes just drop out to the sides. Close your eyes, find a drishti point on the inside of your eyelids, the inside of your skull. Give up any breath control, just letting your breath come naturally, not having to think about it anymore. Just surrendering to gravity, just letting the floor rise up beneath you and cradle you right here in Shavasana. A brand new Shavasana from this moment, from what's possible. right here with what is. to wiggle your fingers and your toes, lifting your body back up and slowly and intentionally roll onto your right side, curling yourself up on your right side into a fetal position, a symbol of a new beginning, a rebirth, just like a newborn baby, a chance to begin again from this moment from presence and with presence. A brand new start. Push yourself up to a seat in front of your mat, legs crossed, tall spine. Press your hands together at heart center, thumbs are in towards your chest. Press them in. Take a deep breath in. And a clearing breath out. Let's seal the class with one arm. Inhale.